we are responsible for keeping the port running 24-7, 365 days a year. The cranes, the conveyors, and over 200 pieces of vehicles and plant vehicles, because the most important thing is that when a ship comes in, that we are able to unload it quickly and efficiently. When I am sending the boys and girls board to either a point of breakdown or a point of planned maintenance, how can we better arm them with the resources they're going to need to establish the root cause and fix that asset and get it back online? And through XR Sense, I'm better able to coordinate and allow the engineers to communicate with one another, to access information that, that can be preloaded into the system and via the head up display communicated to them. And by doing this, we are sending an engineer out once and once only to fix a problem and getting that asset back online uh, before we are seeing delays in our business. We've completed the trial and the experience has been very good. We've managed to implement the proof of concept and get data flowing in and out of IFS Ultimo, which is our enterprise asset management system. When we first started using the headset, it took 15, 20 minutes probably to get used to looking through the viewfinder. Once we had mastered that, then yeah, I find the headset really easy to use on all the voice commands. The, the whole system is menu driven. Uh, they're quite intuitive as to where you go and what you do. The one thing we would uh, like to carry on doing is the integration with the enterprise asset management system that we have. We have a very good system where we're able to understand our, uh, our environment and what needs to be maintained, uh, but this actually puts that information into the engineer's headset so they're able to be more efficient with their work. For example, when they get to a part of the port, they can know all the jobs that are needing to do at that point through the system uh, that shows through geolocation other work that needs doing in that area. Uh, the API has been very easy to set up. We're interested in being able to improve our capture of defects and, and other such things using the XR Sense platform to inform Ultimate. Within our department, I, yeah, I can definitely see this working with regards to giving the headset less experienced members of the team. We found that you could have a senior member that would just set some of the juniors off on tasks. They then go off and use the workflow. They can follow maintenance plans and it's just given them sort of step-by-step -step guidelines on to how to carry out certain tasks. Already found some faults with some equipment we've already got. So it has helped identify problems before they get any worse. Within our workshop, we tend to do a lot of training with our apprentices. So we found that um, using our XR Sense, we could use the step-by-step -step guides on there to upskill a lot of the apprentices. We have now got a lot of electric vehicles that we are charging, so we have a lot of charging points where batteries are stored and charged. They all look the same, so being able to geolocate them is a, is a bonus, really. We're trying to be the most competitive employer out there, so through XR Sense, we're able to demonstrate that we are embracing the latest technology. Uh, the unfortunate fact is there are not enough engineers in the United Kingdom at the moment, and while STEM initiatives and other similar ones are growing the engineers, the hard facts are it's hard to recruit and hard to retain. But as an employer that is forward-looking and embracing uh, technology such as XR Sense, I think we are a more attractive uh, employer and hopefully we'll be able to attract the best talent that's out there.